Hi, I hope you've had a blessed day today. Today I'd like to talk about Psalms chapter 9 verse 10. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Where we place our faith and trust is like the currency of our heart. We only have so much faith and trust to invest and big returns to gain or lose depending on where we invest them. We can't place our faith and trust in both God and the world. We can't choose money and God. We can't choose the opinion of man and God's opinion. We can't choose our own will and his. We can't choose both. We can only choose one. And the one we choose must be where we will invest our 100% faith and trust. If we believe that his word is true, then so much joy and peace is available to us. The Bible is very clear about what we get in return for placing our faith and trust in God alone. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 30, it says, But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? And then in verse 34, Jesus says, Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. What would it be like for us to have that much faith in God that we didn't worry about tomorrow? To be at peace knowing that the burdens and stresses of the world would be solely in God's hands. We will never experience the peace of heaven if our hope is attached to this earth. We will never experience the power of the Holy Spirit if our hope is attached to our own abilities and strengths. And we will never experience being loved if we place our hope in the opinions of others. The only path to experience the joy and peace of life is in placing our full trust and faith in God alone. Choose to place your faith and trust in God alone so that you might seek him with all your heart. You will never find a return on your investment of faith and trust in anything of the world like you will in God. May you find true satisfaction, peace, and joy in God today as you make him the king of your heart. God bless you all.